Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. This is the first episode and even though I'd uh, like to be inside now doing some game development maybe or recording some music maybe like in the last video sometimes you have to actually do stuff that maybe you don't want to do so much and in my case it's been this ongoing project of a house. Um, hmm. As you can see I've been working on it for years but it still looks like an old house see in the background there and uh, you can also see currently I'm working on the garage or garage what do you say? Garage I say. So today I'm going to be recording some of that as well just to show that uh, you can balance making music and things like that and making some games but you still have to throw in those things that even you may, maybe not, don't want to be doing all the time. Painted it grey or my wife did a lot of the work. I changed some panels and uh, cleaned the, uh, the roof tiles off and then I'm going to be doing some work up uh, at the changing out the boards that take all the rainfall. And also you could think about what you're making so even though you're up there on the roof uh, maybe drilling some holes or putting down some nails or painting or whatever it is that you're doing then the good thing is that you can still work on um, some ideas and thoughts for uh, the next game that you're going to make or how you're going to put things together so all right let's get started what i have to do first is uh, find some stuff from inside the garage and that's not uh, <laughs> The most fun thing to do it's a total mess in here even though i've been trying to do uh, the house up and things like that and the sound room actually i'm leaning against the sound room right now i just keep piling on stuff from the renovation and it just goes in and out of the garage all the time and the kids toys and bikes and everything like that so it's a total disaster but uh, i think uh, one day i'm gonna have to clean it up i do every now and then but maybe i should make a video about that one what do you think all right i'll show you the mess anyway nothing to hide here Here's uh, the good old trusty KX450F 2015 with a raised handlebar, raised seat. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much standard apart from the white plastic, of course. So, I haven't been on it now since the accident, which was about three months coming up now, I think. Yeah, it was the 27th, oh no, 20 whatever of uh, May, late May, I think 23rd, 25th, or whatever. So, I haven't been on it since then. Still got the sand from the day of the crash in the foot pegs here as well. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting back on it. So I guess if you fall down, you just have to get back on it. No, no point quitting. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. But meanwhile, it's gonna have to rest here for for another few uh, months. I think uh, I'll, I'll be cleared from uh, for riding again in uh, November or something like that, December. But I probably won't uh, ride during the winter this year. So I'll bring it back out next spring. I'll film that as well. Hope you like this one. This is my. I love this bike. I'm gonna get started on the garage finally now after tidying up a little bit so I don't think you're meant to be able to pull nails out of the wall with your hand are you? Okay so the first thing I'm gonna do to replace some of these bottom planks on the garage because they've uh, rotted over the years so have a look at this. I was uh, <laughs> okay so I was gonna do some building on the garage today which I'm still gonna do then I came to a point where I needed to cut some wood and I thought I need to capture the sound effects. I'm gonna make this vlog, I'm gonna make it uh, about sound design and game development and things like that. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go in and grab all my music equipment or the audio recording gear and I'm gonna record some sound effects here. So what I've got to uh, set up, I'm recording it into the, the Lumix GH5 camera. So I'll be using a Rode video mic for that. I think it's a video mi micro mic, a small one with a wind jammer on as well. And then I'm going to be recording into this one, which is the Sony PCM M50. I'm really happy with this little uh, recorder. I'm not happy with the exposure though. 
this is not good. Never mind, I'll record it anyway. So this little PCM M50 um, recorder, which is really handy. I've got a mini tripod on it now for this purpose, but usually this one just uh, slides right down in your pocket and you can use it. And it doesn't have those video mm, sort of, <laughs> or it doesn't have those uh, capsules that can be quite annoying that stick out and make it all look funny. So this is quite discreet. You can bring it out to uh, record some sound effects and use that for sound design. It's got really low self noise, which is really good compared to some of the other micro uh, or handheld ones that I've used before. I've got a little Rycoat uh, wind jammer for it as well that slides right on, so that's real handy. And the second microphone I'll be using to record uh, is uh, the Rode NTG3 shotgun mic. And I'm actually using that one as well to record this audio. And here it is. Uh, it's on a little stand now and it's got the Rycoat's uh, Zeppelin or the blimp with the wind jammer as well, the dead cat on top of it. So I'll be using that one. And uh, finally, I'll also be using this one, which is the Sanken CO100K. And this is a real uh, incredible little... Ooh, <laughs> bad to open it. Oh my God, blinded by the light. It records up to 100 kilohertz and the human ear doesn't really hear here, <laughs> here more than, I think if you're lucky, as a child with super hearing, you'll get up to 20k if you're lucky, maybe 18 or something like that. But as you grow older, and especially when you reach my age now, uh, I'm probably down to about, I don't know, I'd like to say 12k, but it's probably more like 8, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but the, So obviously you couldn't really hear what this microphone was recording in those high frequencies, but when you use it for sound design, you can bring those, you can pitch shift uh, the sound down and uh, that will bring whatever is not audible then it'll bring it down into the 20 or sub 20 kilohertz range and uh, it'll create some crazy sound effects and i think this should be quite good when i record the saw uh, it should uh, be uh, getting some interesting sounds i think when we pitch those down so i'll compare that after the recording uh, also this one i noticed that it's got the serial number 1523 so i don't think <laughs> they've sold too many of this uh, these uh, I guess it's got such a specialist use and I think I can't remember what the price is But I paid a lot for this one. So I, th I think uh, I'll put it in the comments below not in the comments I'll put it in the description below how much I paid for this one So uh, but hopefully you'll see that uh, even with the handheld one that you can create some quite good sound effects with those Okay, and uh, Let's see uh, Also what I'm using here. Let's bring this one uh, is this uh, I'm recording everything into this one, which is the sound devices 633 field mixer And I've really been happy with this one as well. It records up to 192 kilohertz uh, That I, again, I like to use that for the sound design purposes and I've also got uh, Marinius uh, ST633 add-on which is uh, uh, an additional three inputs uh, XLR inputs that I can get so the sound devices can record six channels, uh, but it only has three mic inputs and, and then it also has a few line inputs. And this extender adds another uh, preamp, <laughs> uh, high definition one, and then uh, it feeds those three additional microphones in. Effectively, you get uh, six microphones with 48 volts uh, phantom power. Oh, well. oh yeah, and the Sanken uh, microphone, I'll be using this one, which is uh, the wind jammer that it's uh, from Rycote as well. It's their Cyclone that snaps together with some uh, uh, magnetic strips. And it's got uh, this one as well for the wi really windy days with a wind jammer. And then I've also got these. A guy in the UK made these and it's uh, attenuation cables. And uh, these will bring it down either minus 10 dB or uh, it'll bring it down 20 dB. And that's really good if, uh, if you record some loud things. That, uh, uh, tend to distort then you can attenuate the sound using these cables between the microphone and the recorder so you don't uh, peek those out so okay that said let's get started <laughs> Okay guys, all right, this is good. Uh, for a change, I can actually have a microphone in sight, <laughs> in the camera view. That's probably not uh, usually advisable. 
since I'm recording sound effects, I think it's fair play to have it in the shot. Mm. So I've got the uh, still the NTG3 set up here and the CO100K. I'm recording uh, when I'm breaking away some of these uh, pieces of uh, wood because I'm going to replace these panels. And uh, I thought while I'm doing that, I might as well uh, rig the microphones and uh, record some of these sound effects. And uh, I, I think they should put the, come in quite handy when we do sound design. So I'll uh, make another video probably about uh, making some sound effects from this and how you can use the best different uh, pitch techniques and things like that to get them warped into something uh, totally different from what I'm doing right here, right now. Ooh, uh, it's warm outside today and I'm not in shape, so I've got to shape that up. I've also got the little PCM M10, the Sony, recording here as well, so we can do some comparisons with that. But the sound meters... oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> They're still set for the sound effects, so that's why I can't really see so much. Actually, I'll ramp that up slightly. There we go. Okay, so it's quite uh, tricky to keep track of uh, all the levels and things like that while you film. So uh, while I'm <laughs> going to keep track of the camera, the microphones and things like that, and also uh, breaking away the wood. And I don't want to peek out and distort this, uh, the levels on the sound recorder. So that's why it's, uh, yeah, I uh, have to do some balancing there. And here as well. <laughs> I'm quite curious to see what we can use these sound effects for. I think uh, if I pitch down uh, the sounds enough, I think we can make some uh, nearly cracking ice from it, uh, maybe uh, shattering icebergs or something underground, maybe uh, aftershocks from, uh, not a volcano, an earthquake, that's what they're called. So that, that'll be quite cool, I think, to, uh, to warp the sounds into those. I'm not quite sure, maybe I'll get some more squeaky sounds later on as well when I pull the nails out, but I'm only going to be replacing these two bottom panels. Uh, but I'll definitely keep this in mind next time I'm going to remove some uh, panels and things like that. So. All right, let's get cracking. I'll uh, set the levels back and uh, continue filming and recording. That's someone sneezing. Got some metal sounds as well. That was stupid. You should avoid this thing. If you're gonna play with the, the nail extractors, you probably don't wanna keep your finger inside of it. Bad idea. Very bad. This uh, nail extractor must be one of the coolest inventions ever. Try to get a nail out of a solid piece of wood. Well, with this, it just grabs onto it and pulls it out. Yeah, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs>
So four rows of panels are gone. Uh, it took a while because the nails were hidden by uh, paint. So now I'm going to put uh, four panels back up. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the rest of the wall because uh, it'll have to do, I think. It'll take too long and cost too much to replace everything. So I'll just paint over, like scrape it and um, paint it over with the same grey as the rest of the garage. There's some dogs parking here. Okay guys, there you have it. So, first vlog coming to a close. Someone just someone just stole apples from our tree. Can you believe it? Why am I whispering? I don't know. So, mosquitoes are coming out, panels are up. Uh, all the ones that I had, I need to go and buy some more ones. Uh, two rows are missing. I'll get those um, in a few days. And then I'll get those up. I have to paint everything, uh, do the gutters, do all the metal work that's around uh, that needs to be grind sanded and painted. And then I've got the garage ports and I've got the windows to fix and the base around the foundation basically uh, I need to paint as well and the floor inside the garage is a mess so I need to fix that as well uh, and uh, yeah there's just lots of stuff all the stuff that goes around the windows and around the edges and the corners so I've got quite a few days work uh, ahead of me but still I uh, managed to get some sound effects recorded today that was a lot of fun and if you stay tuned for uh, the next vlog uh, I'll uh, do some sound design on those sound effects so from the circular saw and also from uh, taking some of the wood and planks and nails out so we'll see how that goes so stay tuned for the next vlog and uh, take care everyone and I hope you liked it and I'll see you tomorrow no I'll see you next time <laughs> bye Okay, so I was gonna do some building on the garage today, which I'm still gonna do. Then I came to a point where I needed to cut some wood and I thought I need to capture the sound effects. I'm gonna make this vlog, I'm gonna make it uh, about sound design and game development and things like that. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go in, I grabbed all my music equipment or the audio recording gear and I'm gonna record some sound effects here. So what I've got to uh, uh, set up, I'm recording it into the uh, Lumix GH5 camera. So I'll be using a Rode video mic for that. I think it's a video mic, micro mic, a small one with a wind jammer on as well.